10th Standard Social Science SA1 Examination Question Paper with Key Answers Total Marks 80 1. Multiple Choice Questions and Answers The First Anglo-Maratha War ended with the Treaty of Dash A. Basain B. Selbai C. Lahore D. Pune Answer Selbai 2. Treaty signed at the end of First Anglo-Mysore War Dash A. Treaty of Mangalore B. Treaty of Seringapatnam C. Selbai Agreement D. Treaty of Madras Answer Treaty of Madras 3. Father of Public Administration Dash A. Woodrow Wilson B. FIFA C. Luther Gulick D. F. M. Marx Answer Woodrow Wilson 4. Who said that truly the whole mankind is one? Dash A. Pampa B. Janna C. Ranna D. Ambedkar Answer Pampa 5. An example for organized workers? Dash A. Vegetable sellers B. Daily wage labor C. Domestic workers D. Teachers Answer Teachers 6. The largest geographic division of India is dash A. Northern Plain B. Himalayas C. Coastal Plains and Islands D. Indian Plateau Answer Indian Plateau 7. In the 11th five-year plan, priority was given to dash A. Agriculture B. Inclusive growth C. Education D. Industry Answer. Inclusive growth 8. The bank does not pay interest or charges a service fee for its services deposits in this type of bank account and dash A. Current account B. Fixed deposit account C. Recurring deposit account D. Savings account Answer. Current account Answer the following questions in a sentence each. 9. What is meant by blue water policy? Answer. The policy of strengthening naval power to monopolize the sea instead of dominating the land is called the blue water policy. 10. What is meant by system of subsidiary alliance? Answer. The subsidiary alliance was a military treaty between the East India Company and the Indian states. 11. What is communalism? Answer. The division of society on the basis of religion and identification and development of mutual enmity on that basis is called communalism. 12. What is prejudice? Answer. A predetermined attitude that can be held towards an individual or a group. 13. Which are the factors that affect India's climate? Answer. Latitude, longitude, distance from oceans, direction of winds, mountain ranges and ocean currents. 14. What is meant by soil erosion? Answer. Transportation of surface soil by various natural forces is called soil erosion. 15. Why is Sir M. Vishweshwaraya called the father of Indian economic planning? Answer. He stressed the need for planning for the economic development of India. Hence, he is called the father of Indian economic planning. 16. Which bank is called the banker's bank? Answer. Reserve Bank of India. Answer the following questions in two sentences and four points each. 17. How did the doctrine of lapse help in the expansion of British power? Answer. If any Indian king died childless, his adopted son had no right to succession. Such a state was included in the British Empire. Satara, Jaipur, Sambalpur, Udaipur, Jhansi, Nagpur came under the control of the British. 
18. Why is the Amara Sulya Rebellion called a Peasant Rebellion? Answer. Amara Sulya Rebellion was a Peasant Rebellion. Aparampara. Kalyana Swami and Putta Basappa organized a rebellion against the British. Putta Basappa announced that taxes on tobacco and salt will be withdrawn. This gained the support of farmers and landlords. He took over government offices. He looted the jail and treasury. He killed the Sulya Amaldar. The British captured Putta Basappa and imprisoned him. 19. Public administration provides services from birth to death of a person. Justify the statement. Answer. It maintains civil order and peace by protecting the life and property of citizens. It takes care of providing basic facilities, education, employment opportunities, protects the state and ensures economic equality. It provides numerous services like this. 20. What are the constitutional and legislative measures to eradicate untouchability? Answer. Article 17 prohibits the practice of untouchability. Untouchability Offences Act 1955 Protection of Civil Rights Act 1976 Universal suffrage is given to all Reservation in education jobs 1989 Abolition of untouchability is the responsibility of the respective states Or What are the causes of unemployment? Answer Overpopulation Mechanization Excessive division of labor, social inequality, lack of capital, illiteracy. 21. How does the Peninsular Plateau play an important role in the economic development of the country? Answer. There are immense mineral resources here. The rivers here are full of waterfalls and are suitable for hydroelectric power generation. 22. Indian agriculture is a gambling with the monsoons. Justify. Answer. The main occupation of the people of India, agriculture is controlled by the monsoon winds. Failure of rainfall leads to drought. Heavy rainfalls causes loss of life and damage to property. Hence, Indian agriculture is called a gamble with the monsoons. 23. What are the objectives of Niti Aayog? Answer. 1. To evolve a shared vision of national development priorities, sectors and strategies with the active involvement of states. 2. To foster cooperative federalism through 28. Mention the steps taken to eradicate illiteracy. Answer. Sarvasiksha Abhijan has been launched in 2001 to provide free education for children of 6 to 14 years. It provides education to girls, physically challenged, and priority for women awareness. In 1988, National Literacy Mission has also been established by Government of India to make illiterates literates. Sakshara Baruth program has been launched to eradicate illiteracy. Recently, through Article 21A of our Constitution, education is made as fundamental right. Right to Education 2009 has been guaranteed. Compulsory free education has been implemented for the children between 6 and 14 years. 29. What are the differences between organized and unorganized workers? Answer. Organized sector laborers. Legal provisions. Specific work, employment security, fixed wages and allowances, fixed time duration, mandatory to pay taxes, medical facilities, paid leave, unorganized sector laborers, paid leave, no specific work, no employment security, no fixed wages and allowances, no fixed time duration, no tax provisions, no medical facilities, no paid leave. 30. The black soil, different from laterite soil. How? Answer. Black soil, the weathering of igneous rock, the basalt rock, 5.46 lakh square kilometer. Crops, cotton, jawar, onions, states, Maharashtra, Mahia Pradesh, North Karnataka. Laterite soil, in tropical areas under the conditions of high temperature and rainfall. 2.48 lakh square kilometer. Crops, tea, coffee, rubber. States, Western Dots, Vindias, Satporis. 31. What are the methods of conservation of forests? Answer. Protecting the forest trees against human beings, animals, and natural disasters are called conservation of forests. Protecting the forest trees against diseases. Planting saplings. Sowing seeds. Guarding against illegal cutting of trees. 
avoiding grazing of domestic animals in forests, motivating people to plant saplings, encouraging people to protect them, and implementing the social forestry projects speedily and successfully. Or, which are the important national parks of India? Answer, Kasaranda National Park, Assam, Sundarbans National Park, West Bengal, Hazaribagh National Park, Jharkhand, Gir National Park, Gujarat, Kana National Park, Mahia Pradesh, Tadoba National Park, Maharashtra. 32. List the achievements of the five-year plans. Answer. The pace of growth of national income has gradually increased. The growth of per capita income has also increased. Self-sufficiency in food grain production has been achieved. Employment opportunities have increased due to the expansion of industry and service sectors. There has been immense progress in the field of science and technology. Life expectancy and literacy rate of people are increasing. Infant mortality rate and maternal mortality rates are decreasing. Both birth and death rates are decreasing, and the population growth rate is decreasing. Or, what were the factors that inspired the Green Revolution? Answer, as a result of the experiment conducted by a scientist named Dr. Norman Borlaug, research on high-yielding seeds in wheat, use of pre-harvest technology, use of high-yielding seeds, use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides, expansion of irrigation facilities, use of post-harvest technology. 33. Savings account is different from current account. How? Answer. Savings account. People who are salaried and have a regular income can open an account. Students, senior citizens, pensioners can open an account. They pay interest on deposits. Current account. Businessmen and commercial organizations open an account. They do not pay interest in deposits in this account. They charge a service fee for their services. Or, what are the functions of bank? Answer, accepting deposits from public, lending loans to public, transferring money from one place to another, discounting of bills, hiring safe deposit lockers, conducting foreign exchange transactions. Answer the following questions in about eight sentences each. 34. Explain the achievements of Krishna Raja Wadiyar 4. Answer. He was very much interested in spreading education among his people. He abolished fees in all primary schools to develop primary education. He helped girls' education. He started the University of Mysore and also started scholarship to the students' continuing education in foreign countries. New railway lines were laid. Many small and large-scale industries were started. Legislative Council was formed, which was a great step in the legislative measures. Mahatma Gandhiji called him as Rajashri. Or, what were the effects of British revenue policy on Indian? Answer, a new class of zamindars who exploited the farmers was created. Two, the farmers are exploited by the zamindars became landless slowly. Three, land became a commodity. Four, loans could be raised by mortgaging the lands. Five, the agricultural sector became commercialized, had to grow raw materials needed by industries back in England. Six, the moneylenders became strong. 35. What were the reform measures of Annie Besant? Answer. She gave new life to the work of the Theosophical Society. She sowed admiration for Indian culture. She tried to promote equality, brotherhood, and achieve harmony in society. She supported the freedom movement. She started the newspaper, New India. She started the Home Rule Movement in 1916. She was the president of the 1917 Congress session. 36. Explain the scope of public administration according to Luther Gulick. Answer. Planning, organizing, supply of personnel, directing, coordinating, reporting, budgeting. 37. What are the objectives of multi-purpose river projects? Answer. To provide irrigation facilities, to generate hydroelectric power, to control the floods in rivers, to provide navigation facilities, to provide water for domestic use and industries, to control soil erosion, to develop fisheries, to increase forest wealth. 38. In the outline map of India provided to you, mark any five among the following. A. 23 and one half degrees north latitude. B. Ganganagar. C. Tungabhadra Project. D. Gir National Park. E. Harakud Project. F. Western Ghats. G. Narmada River Shown on maps